What's going on everyone? This is a Google Doodle released on July 23rd or July 22nd. And you uh, play as a cat and you go around and uh, you go around and do sports and do side quests and stuff. So you get these scrolls by playing different uh, mini games. And you can also get trophies by completing side quests. So I'm going to be doing a 100% speeder in this game where I get all of the scrolls, you can see there's seven in the bottom left, and all of the trophies, which as you can see, there are no empty spots in the trophy house. So time starts when I press yes. So I'm going to talk to these guys. I'm gonna skip the tutorial. I'm going to talk to them again, and I'm going to join yellow team. And then I'm going to go, uh, I'm gonna warp west. And then I'm gonna play the mini game here. And this is a simple rhythm game. So that's the minigame in the west area, and just a, uh, just a rhythm game. And now I'm going to start two side quests. And those two side quests are going to be... Um, I'll move my cursor off the main map for you. Uh, those two side quests are going to be uh, delivering a letter to this uh, person's son, uh, which I'm going to agree to do, and then not do it right now. And then I'm going to go over here and start a quest where I need to find three turtle sisters. And then I'm going to go north. And I'm going to play this minigame. So this is a climbing minigame. Uh, you jump with your primary button. You need to grab onto ledges. Uh, a little bit slow there. I should probably get this checkpoint here. There's a checkpoint up here. Which is good to get just in case you don't make this jump. But there we go. Super easy. Now I'm going to start two more side quests. I'm going to talk to this guy who needs a super fire arrow to get rid of this snow that's blocking the entrance to his hot springs. And I'm going to go over here and talk to this uh, family hosting a birthday party. Uh, but one of the one of the mascots they want didn't show up. So now I need to go find the mascot, which she is just up here behind this tree. And then I'm going to go northwest. I'm going to do this minigame. And I'm keeping my cursor in the top left of the screen just because um, that's where the map and pause buttons are, so it makes things easier. So in this game you're just supposed to get as many points as possible by shooting targets. And I'm getting absolutely bodied right now, which is not good. So, uh, this is the only one that I failed uh, 
during my first playthrough of this game. So this is probably the hardest minigame in my opinion. At least it's the minigame with the strongest uh, AI. Because all these minigames, you're sort of facing an opponent. Uh, like for in the climbing minigame, you're trying to dodge the snowballs thrown down by the bird. Um, and in this minigame, you're directly fighting someone. And it looks like I'm doing a lot better than I normally do, so that's good. Now I have to make sure they don't get the opportunity to come back at the last second, because it looks like that's what's going to happen if I'm not careful here. Okay, that was really close. Um, but there we go, we got that scroll. At least I think it's a scroll. And now we can go talk to this pig here who needs to clean up arrows. So this is another side quest. Um, I'm going to pick up this arrow. I'm going to pick up this arrow. Uh, second arrow, I need to talk to this person. So I'm losing time by being bad. But I need to talk to this person. And then I need to leave. And then I'm going to talk to this blue fish. And I accidentally talked to him a second time. I'm going to pick up this arrow. And I'm going to uh, talk to the arrow craftsman as part of this uh, the snowball quest. Because the arrow craftsman is the person who's going to make us a fire arrow that will get rid of the snowball. I'm going to pick up this fourth arrow. Um... And I should have warped here, but I forgot, because the fifth arrow is up here, so it would have been faster to just warp from the dock. Um, but now I'm going to collect the arrow, the lucky arrow that's on the roof of here. And you note that you can't roll inside of buildings, so this is the fastest you can move inside of buildings. Unfortunately. Um, and also I got stuck on the person there. So I can talk to that, I can talk to the pig guy, and I can talk to the blue fish guy, and then I'm going to warp to the east. Uh, where rugby is. Then I'm going to, okay, I'm going to play rugby. So this minigame is pretty easy. Um, you just have to get, you just have to make sure you're getting power-ups as much as you can. And also I want to... Oh, I failed it. So that's a little bit of a time loss. Uh, so I want to get that guy caught on that pillar. And then I want to get this speed power up. And that'll make sure that they can't catch me as easily. Then I'm going to get this, which scares the blue ones away from me. And I'm going to get it again. And I need to get this lightning power up before they catch me. And I'm at the end. Okay. So that one uh, is really close. I don't know how to play it well, but I at least know that strategy for that exact case. Um, we're east, so I'm going to talk to the rugby team and start a side quest where one of the rugby team members is missing. And I'm going to talk to this asleep cat, which is one of the trophies you need um, for the trophy room, even though it doesn't do anything. I'm going to talk to the locksmith to advance the porcupine side quest. And then I'm going to start a side quest where this guy wants to become a baker. So I'm going to talk to him, he's going to tell me he wants to become a baker. And then I'm going to find the lava uh, that the arrow craftsman needs for the snowball side quest. And then I'm going to warp southwest. And then I'm going to play this minigame. So this minigame is just a timed minigame. Um, you just basically do skate tricks. It's just Tony Hawk Pro Skater. And there's a certain amount of um, 
points you need uh, to win the minigame, but it's very hard to fail this one. I think it's... It's either like you need 30,000 or you need 50,000, and 50,000 should be pretty easy because you can get a lot of points from doing head flips. So I'm gonna look for... Um, you can find a tanuki in a like in a pot or in a in a kettle or whatever. I forget what it's called. Um, but yeah, we've we've beaten this mini game. Time's gonna run out. And we've gotten past 50,000 points, so that should give us the scroll. There we go, we got the scroll. So now we need to talk to uh, this guy who is in a house, and he's lost his book in the bookstore. So we're going to tell him that we're going to get his book back, and then we're going to talk to this guy and start a quest about getting a secret password. We're going to talk to this guy and start a quest about getting some spring water which unlocks some more quests. And then we're going to go down here, and we're going to get the secret passcode um, from here so that we can tell it to the rail guy later. And then we're going to go southeast. We're going to do this minigame, which is a racing minigame. Um, and it is, it is one of the, uh, hardest, just in general of, uh, like, to play it perfectly, you really need to be really good at it, and I am not really good at it, so I'm hoping I can just play good enough to win. And it looks like I'm doing alright here. So you can use the joystick or the D-pad to move up and down, um, and you can hold you hold right to accelerate, and then you can press your action button to uh, go become intangible for a little bit, and that'll help you dodge obstacles. But you can see whenever I get hit, I lose some speed, and then the person in second ca uh, slightly catches up to me. So there we go. Okay. That was a really, really good run of that. I think that was the fastest I've ever done that. So there we go, we got another scroll. Uh, we're going to start a side quest by talking to a driftwood artist uh, who makes sculptures out of driftwood. They want us to collect driftwood for them. We are going to collect our first driftwood. We're going to get the first turtle in the turtle quest we started in the west. She's going to ask why sports are good and we want to say discipline. Uh, we want to talk to this dad. And we want to go into this hut and talk to these arguing kids. Um, and then we want to talk to the crab. The crab will tell us that we need to get a snack for those kids. Um, we want to talk to this guy who's lost his paddle. We're going to pick up this um, stick and then we're going to warp. I warped to the wrong place. We're going to warp. Um, we're going to get the paddle. We're going to find the kid. We are going to uh, return the paddle. We're going to find the kid again. We're going to warp again. And then we can talk to the kid again. And now we can uh, talk to the father. And then he will thank us for taking care of his kid. And then we're going to go northeast to the bamboo forest. We're going to play this minigame. So this minigame is a ping pong minigame, uh, except multiple balls can be played in, in play at once. Every time uh, you hit the ball back to uh, your opponent, the ball gets faster. And if the ball is fast enough, eventually he will not teleport to hit it back to you. You can get a power shot, which you want to do when there are um, 
you want to do it to advance the number of balls in play. So from right there, I went to two, from two balls in play to five balls in play. And so each time you do a power shot, uh, there's going to be more balls in play. So you just want to do power shots um, at the right times to advance the game faster. And you can see right here I'm doing a really bad job of that. No, I'm getting so destroyed by the video game right now. Anyways, I won by a lot there. And we got another scroll. Now we have all seven scrolls. So if this were a um, all scroll speed run, it would be like 15 minutes or so, which is five minutes slower than what the world record I can find on YouTube is. Uh, but there's no leaderboard up for this yet, uh, at the time of recording. But, uh, those five minutes, uh, come from doing the side quests. And especially in the southwest area, because the southwest area is, like, really hard to route. Anyways, now we're going to talk to this guy down here. He's going to have a a uh, lantern for us, or a flame for us, and we're going to light those uh, stone statues we see next to the ping pong table. This guy is going to want us to uh, steal the fan from the guy in the temple up ahead. Uh, we're going to light these two uh, lamps. We're going to we're going to talk to uh, the guy behind the house who's causing the rain, and then. Oh, I forgot to talk to the guy at the bridge. No, I'm losing time. No, I'm stuck. Once we talk to the guy at the bridge, we can talk to this guy behind the house. And then he will tell us that it is only raining here because he doesn't have a train ticket to get to wherever he wants to go. Um, we are going to attempt to steal this fan. When asked what we're doing, we're just going to uh, say we were admiring the beautiful fan. And he's going to say he's missing his invisibility cloak and he wants us to get it back. So we're going to walk down here. We're going to light these two lanterns. We're going to talk to the octopus. We're going to talk to this guy. I didn't mean to go in there. We're going to talk to this guy, which completes the lighting lanterns sub quest, or the side quest. Then we're going to attempt to steal the fan again. And this should finish up this dialogue. And then we can warp to the northwest, where we will talk to the arrow craftsman again. This will get us the flaming arrow we need. Then we're going to talk to the porcupine. Then we're going to go to the north. We're going to find the second turtle. And the second turtle is through this cave. This is considered an inside area, so I'm going to scroll down my routing guide here. Um, and for this turtle, we want to answer money. Then we're going to warp back north. We're going to collect these peaches to continue the uh, rugby team side quest we started in the east area, in the volcano. We're going to talk to this guy. We're going to finish the rugby quest. We're going to talk to the snowball guy. He's going to get rid of the snow blocking the spring, and then we can get spring water. And once we get spring water, we're going to go back to the southwest. We're going to go to the bookstore. We're going to collect the book from the bookstore.
We're gonna go talk to the rail worker. We're going to go talk to the construction guy. We're gonna go talk to the baker to advance the um, the baking quest we started in the east. And then we're going to get this to advance the um, quest we started in the southeast where the kids were arguing. We're going to talk to the leader of the gym. He's going to tell us to find someone who's in the noodle cafe. Uh, we are going to return the book that we picked up from the bookstore. We are going to go into the ramen place. Oh, I forgot to talk to the ticket master. Okay, we need to talk to we need to talk to this guy first because um, we're going to ask for the ticket for the rain guy, and this guy's going to tell us that there's a promotional deal going on in the ramen shop where if you order 50 bowls of ramen, or noodles, it's not specified to be ramen, I guess. Uh, 50 bowls of noodles, um, you can get a free ticket. So we're going to ask for our ticket. We're going to get a ticket, and we're going to warp back and talk to the third turtle as part of the uh, turtle quest and she wants to hear that her siblings respect her okay then we're going to go southeast we're going to collect the shoes that are on the shore We're going to go talk to the arguing kids. We're going to give them bread. We're going to collect the last piece of driftwood. And we're going to warp back and talk to the driftwood artist. And they are going to finish the sculpture for us. And then we're going to go southwest. We're going to go back to the noodle store. We're going to talk to a cat here named Daichi. We're going to say, Daichi found your shoes. And then um, we need to get a water bottle for Daichi. So to do that, we go south to the convenience store. We talk to the convenience store owner. She's going to give us tons of bottles of water. And we're going to go back to Daichi and give Daichi some water. And then we need to talk to Daichi, we're going to give Daichi water, and then um, we're going to... No, ah, I picked the wrong dialogue option. We're going to give our bandana to Daichi, and he's going to go to the... Um, he's going to go to the gym. We're going to go back here, we're going to um, finish the grandma letter quest we started. Now the ghost grandma can rest in peace. And now we're going to talk to um, the turtle we started the turtle quest from. And we're going to go to the aspiring baker in the west or in the east. Oh, we need to talk to these people. There we go. Now he's going to be suddenly replaced with the other guy. We're going to go to the northeast. We're going to talk to the guy behind the house who we need to give the train ticket to. And this should get rid of the, uh, the rain. And now we can go to the north. We can walk down to the trophy hut. Now we can read this pedestal that says, don't trust the bird. We can come outside. There's going to be the stone guys here. They're going to tell us that, that the bird is an imposter. 
We're gonna go talk to the sleeping cat again. Sleeping cat's gonna tell us that there's someone else. And then we're going to warp to the northwest. We're... No. We're going to... No, 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 no. We're gonna go into this boat here. There's a whirlpool. And then time stops when we see the exit of the room appear. There we go. 245921. And to just verify that this is a 100% run, we are going to go into the trophy room. And we're going to see that the trophy is there and we have all the trophies. There we go. Doodle Champion Island Games 100% completed in 24 minutes 59 seconds.